دکتر هر با گم دکتری اکم می افکو اگر هایت او لفتا کرنگ میک برنر او رد فرام فور میک ستور دو Everybody and welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jada and I go by the Midsummer. If you're a returning watcher, hi Pookie. So in today's video, we are hanging out with the Westbrooks and we have some things to talk about from last episode and from the intro that we just saw right now. So Camille, she has been kind of plotting on Darius a little bit and she's been emptying that bank account. Okay. <laughs> but it finally hit Darius where it hurt last episode. They shut down Dollar Tree, they is. I'm telling you, they is. Around, are you? Camille, she is playing the long game with him. And yeah, it finally took maybe like a month or two, but she was able to empty that bank account. Okay. And now Darius is pretty much ass out. But <laughs> um, on top of that, we um, saw Eugene did have his surgery. So he did get his transplant for a new kidney. And he's in recovery right now. So I'll show you guys that. He's in like a rabbit hole event, but he is in post-surgery recovery for the next like day or two. For the rest of this episode, we're gonna be hanging out with Dayton. We're gonna go to his school. So we're gonna spend a day with him at school and at football practice because he is now a footballer and I want him to interact with his friends. And then on the later half of this episode, we are going to a law firm party. So we are gonna be going to the old salt house to have like a little law firm party. So pretty much like, you know, Everyone who's in the law firm will be there. And then also Camille did invite the Dempseys. So <laughs> that's going to be interesting because she wants to kind of rectify that business relationship because at the end of the day, wealth status and reputation are like Camille's big three. Okay. <laughs> Those are her big three. Nobody really cares about morals in this story. And I just want to put that out there right now. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, enough of me yapping. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, bye. All right, so Camille, she made ratatouille for dinner. It is a little on the later side because I took a little too long talking this <laughs> in the intro. But anyway, everyone's going to come and eat right now. And we're going to go over some of these buffs. Camille ate before everybody else. Uh-uh, don't even, uh-uh, don't even look at her. Don't even look at her. Camille said, don't look at me, don't touch me, don't talk to me. So I did kind of set some new sentiments for them. So hopefully they don't interact because... I don't want them to interact. Okay, so as we can see, Darius and Tatum, we got the red, okay? Darius and Tatum, they got the red bars because we just, we're not fucking with them at all. So they have some sentiments about each other. They have the it's awkward relationship buff now. So at least some aspects of the relationship are budding, if not all. Not really. Like <laughs> Camille is pretty much off of Darius. Um, he cheated on Camille, as it says here. She's furious about cheating, still hurt by Darius cheating. She's hurt, drifting love, all of that. And then Darius has the hurt and the deeply wounded sentiment because he feels like she is turning her back on him when um, she rightfully is so, you know? But... He's a little upset because he ain't got no funds. His bills have been affected and he's not having a good time about it. <laughs> but right now, Camille, she does have a buff. It's starting to go away a little bit. But I think it just came back because she's around him. It says that she's resenting a cheater, which is making her feel a little tense from feeling furious with someone nearby. It's really unpleasant to be around someone who betrayed Camille's trust, period. So she is not fucking with him, which... That's been the case, but she's really, really, really not. <laughs> like, because now it's out in the open. They know about it. 
And yeah, it doesn't exist within Camille's mind. She's been able to to talk to Darius and bring it up to him. Like, hey, I know everything. I have your fucking number, bitch. So anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys. So Eugene, as you see, he says he's asleep. He's in inpatient recovery. He probably is going to make it back before this episode is over, but we won't check in with him until next episode. But let me see. I want to look at everyone's buffs because we've had quite a few things happen. So Darius, he is just having a tense buff from being an overachiever because he hasn't worked on any skills and he's tired. He don't even give, he doesn't care, okay? I hate him. Like, I literally hate him. But yeah, y'all, I just wanted to get a quick little recap, go over everyone's buffs. Not really everyone, just Camille and Darius. I wanted to kind of give y'all the rundown on what we're doing this episode and what's going on <laughs> with their relationship. Quick little recap, but we're going to go straight into our next segment of the episode, which is going to be Dayton at his high school. So I will see y'all there. All right, y'all, so we made it to the school. We are at Windenburg High School, and these two are talking here. We have Dayton and Sawyer, his little crush or whatever. <laughs> but the day just started, and oh, yeah, y'all, I'm going to preface it right now. Um, High school years is a really buggy pack. <laughs> like, I've never really played with it until, like, literally for this episode, like, prepping it. Bro. The lag on this is crazy, and it's only during the school period time. Like, as soon as 3 o'clock comes and the school day ends, like, you'll see the lag will go away. But I just want to apologize in advance for it. And it's not it's not horrible where it's, like, unbearable to watch, but it is a little laggy. So we're going to just, you know, we're going to try our best, <laughs> okay? But anyway, we're here with Miss Sawyer Girl. We got about an hour and a half before school starts, and Dayton already had his breakfast so he's good i want him to interact with his friend a little bit so let's just do some small talk or something let's let's rave about growing up and then let's discuss interests you know oh my gosh hello and how cute are the uniforms for the girls so cute it's from the new sophomore collection from serenity and Sintate. they definitely ate okay but yeah these two they just kind of like you know oh my gosh no <laughs> so what i'm kind of thinking is happening between sawyer and dayton i think that he likes her more than she likes him but we're gonna kind of get into that a little bit today Let's see what his wants are. He needs to self-actualize and then go to class. So it's about, it's not time to get ready for class, but I want him to walk closer to his period one because I don't want him to get in trouble. Do you know what I mean? And this is Windenburg High School and it is a really nice build. I got it off the gallery. And it's, it's no CC, but it is a pretty heavy lot. So that could be why there's a lag too. <laughs> but like I said, it's not like extremely awful. So we just going, we just going to deal with it. Okay. For future episodes, I'll figure out maybe what might be causing it. And then I will try to fix it. These two are cute, though. But yeah, I do kind of think Sawyer likes him. Or no, I think Dayton likes Sawyer a little bit more than she likes him. You know what I mean? He might get friend zoned, but... <gasps> Be insulted by Sawyer? No! <gasps> oh my gosh, she's kind of mean. Dayton! Okay, go to class. Go to class. Don't even stop talking to her. They're fighting. Why are they fighting? <laughs> oh my god. Just go to class, Dayton. Damn, I guess it's true. She does not like him. 
We'll look at some of his other maybe friends and people around the school. After this class ends, okay. Damn, Sawyer. What is her problem? <laughs> She's a rude. Damn. I kind of want to look at their... I kind of want to look at their buffs. Let me see. Hold on. Does he have any buffs? Okay, no. The only negative buff is that his burrito was cold in the middle this morning. <gasps> oh, no. But their, their, their little romance bar, it turned red. Okay, so... Aww. So Dayton's sentiments about Sawyer is he's resentful about no prom invite. What? Anyway, that's kind of stupid. The whole thing with prom being every weekend is absolutely insane. I'm going to do a formal, I think. But this season of the Westbrooks that we're in right now, Dayton's getting ready for the summer. Like he has about a week or two left of school. You know what I mean? So it's like his final little term. And then he's out of school for the summer. So... But yeah, he has business class today, so we're going to get our learn on. Stay, get, get off that phone, boy. Okay, period. Everyone's just talking in the background. How rude, right? The PA loudly chirps on for some announcements. Dayton doesn't really care to hear about the weather forecast or updates to the school social calendar. With no lessons going on, now seems like a good time to listen to tunes. So I guess the teacher is just yapping right now. I don't want him to get in trouble. We're going to listen to announcements. Oh, okay. So Ember just became good friends with Dayton. Hmm. Okay, Zion too. Surprising everyone, the announcements had some interesting updates for once. And Dayton learned more about his fellow classmates. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. So it got it like a positive effect on that. But yeah, you guys, we're going to go to class. Like we're going to, you know, do his little lesson, go to lunch, do class one and class two. And then as soon as three o'clock hits, we are going to have a gathering for the football team. And they're going to practice some football out on the field. And the girls are going to cheerlead. So... They're going to, you know, we're going to mingle a little bit more after school today. Aww. Dang, this class is boring. <laughs> Can we talk to people while we're in class? Okay, so this is Ember. This is, uh, we introduced Ember last episode. Let me look at their buffs. Or not their buffs. <gasps> he thinks she's pretty. They're good friends and they have amazing compatibility. Interesting. I'm tripping over Sawyer, like... I thought she liked him. I thought they were hitting it off at the freaking debutante ball. Whatever. Okay, boring. <laughs> so that was cool. Okay, so it says that he wants to be friendly with a student. We're going to do that with Ember. Let's obsess about favorite celebrity. I feel like Dayton's favorite celebrity would be like, I don't know, it'd be like Drake. <laughs> Spinet? Holger Beret? He's like, oh my gosh, is Drake gonna respond to Kendrick Lamar? <laughs> I'm waiting for that. Shit. Anyway, it's lunchtime, so I'm gonna have them eat or have him eat. Um, this is usually where my game starts to lag like a little badly, but it looks like it's doing all right right now. Okay, so. Here is our luncheon area. So today, let's get no. we'll get meatball tamale bites. That sounds pretty insane, but okay. So are you got a problem? I didn't think so. All right, Dayton, go ahead and go to lunch, babe, because we don't want you to be late for your second class. We got to get our food in, okay? And then hopefully we see the boys up there. His friends, KJ and Zion. They all tried out for the football team, and surprisingly, they got it. Dayton was surprised that he made the team. So he's feeling confident because of that, because, I don't know, he feels like a cool kid, you know? He's trying to get his skills up, and he's trying to work out more so he could be the big boy on campus. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and we need to study for exams too, so I'm gonna try to get him to eat. Oh my God, get off of your phone. 
I'm gonna try to have him eat and then study for exams before lunch term or before lunch period is over. Cause yeah, we gotta we gotta make sure we're doing our thing. Day in. There's a seat. You know what? Where is he going? Dayton, why are you eating in the classroom by yourself? It's giving loser. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's giving outcast. No, this is fine. I'm going to have him study for his exams. Is that Ember? <gasps> oh my gosh. Hey, this could be fun. Ember Donahue wants to go to the prom with Dayton Westbrook as friends. Does he want to go? Let's just say, of course, because I don't want them to get a negative sentiment. But we're not going to do prom this episode, okay? But I don't want them to have, like, a bad rift because of it. So we're just going to say yeah. <laughs> Cute. And then she came in here to eat with him. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um, I need him to study for exams. <gasps> I just realized right now. The other day when I was, I was prepping for this, and I think, like, on Tuesday of this week for Dayton, Someone gave him weed and he has it on him. It's on his body right now. That is horrible. I hope he doesn't get caught with that shit. <laughs> because, but I meant to stash it in his closet. I don't know why I didn't. Anyway, whatever. All right, Ember, he's studying for his exams. You should do the same. So I'm gonna let him study just for a couple more seconds and he might need to go use the bathroom. You know what? We're just gonna cheat it because I really don't want him to be late. Cause they don't play about that shit. All right, we're gonna stop studying, and I need you to get ready for class two. I think his—I don't even know where any of his friends are or anything. It doesn't even matter. Cause we're gonna see them later. Like I said, the girls are gonna cheerlead, and Dayton <laughs> is gonna <laughs> practice his football, so he can make captain or something. I'm just gonna have him go here, cause I'm pretty sure this is where his class two is. This build is freaking cool. Like the school looks, I don't know. It's just giving rich school. It's giving rich private school. Okay, period. See, he's early. We're not playing. We need to stay on top of our freaking grades in our books, okay? His character values right now, Um, he's in the green for everything. I do want his responsibility and his manners to go up more. So Manners can increase by friendly introductions, setting the table, cleaning up dishes, or giving compliments. Parents can also teach their kids to say please and thank you. Oh. See, and we're really going to get into growing together on my mint condition series, but this is cool. Okay, class two, period. This is foreign language class. Same teacher. <laughs> Oh, it's almost like grade school all over again. At some point during class, some of the rougher classmates silently put a kick me sign on the back of a fellow student. Someone should stand up to those bullies. But should it be today? We're going to tell the classmate discreetly so we don't blow their spot up. Okay, I think they might have gotten a good sentiment. Dayton passes a note to his classmate that they have a sign on their back. The classmate looks upset but grateful to be told. Okay, period. Yeah, because you don't wanna you don't wanna embarrass them and make it you know. Alright, school is almost over. And then we're gonna do some football practice. And we'll probably do that from like three to eight o'clock. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. It'll be a little minute. They're gonna be out there practicing, so I can't believe Sawyer. How dare she's rude like I don't know She's crazy. We're team Ember now <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding Y'all know how high school was like you like somebody one day and then you like somebody the next day and then you like someone else like Those are just growing pains, you know All right, period All right, y'all so we're gonna go ahead and go straight to our football practice. I'm gonna get everybody set up and ready and I'll see you all there. Okay, bye. All right, y'all. So we made it to our little practice. Y'all see the girls in the back, period. And Dayton is just doing some advanced football training with one of his teammates, Kiyoshi. 
And then we have Zion and KJ over here. They're kind of just like doing what they want to do. <laughs> and it's blowing me a little bit. So I need to make sure that they're like staying together. So I'm going to have Zion go jog. Because that's what KJ's doing. And then I'm going to have Dayton practice with them too. Whenever they get back from their little jog. But yeah, this is Kiyoshi. He has teammates. Um, Let me see what they can do. Maybe let's do another little session. Just to make sure. We'll do regular football practice and we'll do it with Kiyoshi. Because Dayton has football practice every other day. So he has it tomorrow from 3.30 to 5.30. So today he's just practicing. But we want to make sure that we're practicing with the football. And they're 75% done right now. So the girls are actually going to cheerleading right now. So, all right, no worries. Let me actually stop controlling her. But yeah, look at their cheerleading outfits. This is cute, right? I had to recolor the base game one from high school years. So cute because their school colors are blue and green. Period. Um, We'll kind of, we'll do this again like another episode. But I did just want to introduce his new hobby because... I think it's cool. He's playing football. So I think after this is done, I'm going to have him go jog too. And then honestly, we'll probably just call it a day because <laughs> it's not really working out how I thought. Oh, wait. So they can take a selfie? Oh, period. Wait, wait, wait. Before we go jogging. Um, hello. It's not even in front of the freaking sign. Okay, whatever. <laughs> All right, period. Let's do it again with KJ. They're like, yeah, just made the football team. Get at us. Dayton's just trying to like, oh, this is cute. That's like a candid. Okay, period. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's so cute. It's literally not working. I don't know. But that's cute for Dayton, though. So I'm guessing there's like a little football thing going on right now. And this is our rival team. But yeah, no, this is cute. I'm excited for Dayton to kind of get his little football bag. He doesn't know if this is something that he will want to pursue for like ever, you know, like a career move. But he's thinking about it. He is a junior right now. So Dayton is a junior. And so he has this school year and then he has his senior year which will be next term and yeah he has to think about what he wants to do and start scouting for high schools i mean he has to start scouting for colleges but we already know he's kind of thinking about foxbury his parents want him to go to foxbury so that's kind of what his vibe is gonna be um i'm not gonna have him over here dealing with all this craziness <laughs> we're gonna just go jog to clear mind. Let's jog to clear our mind. And then we'll probably end this little segment for, for Mr. Dayton. Like, bye. That's cute, but we don't want to be around the rival team. Like, But yeah, after this segment, you guys, we're going to go to tomorrow, which is going to be Friday. And it'll be Friday evening, maybe a little bit before. We'll do a little bit of gameplay before they go to the law firm party. But that is just going to be the adults. It's going to be Camille, Darius, Adeline, and Maddie. So everyone else is going to stay home. And we'll be able to catch up with the girls, Camille, Darius, the Dempsey's <laughs> and yeah it should be interesting but yeah after that it'll be the end of this episode it's kind of a more low-key episode but <laughs> all right you guys so that was his little football practice it was cute it was cute it was cute in his little high school day um we'll catch back up with Dayton again and we'll do this again a little bit more in depth next time we visit his high school but I just kind of wanted to start introducing his little storyline so <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this segment we're gonna go to the next day and I'll see y'all there okay bye y'all I'm just like letting the time pass right so I can get to Friday afternoon <laughs> so, and goddamn the the goddamn rodent died like, what the fuck? We were just taking care of it, too. I had Dayton clean out the habitat this morning, and we've been feeding it when I've been off-camera playing. 
the goddamn rodent died. So RIP to the rodent, y'all. I didn't even get to name that fucker. <laughs> oh, I see how you were there for me. And I can say never would have made it. Never could have made it without you. I would have lost it all. I even named that hoe and he died. That's crazy. We're not going to get a new one right now. But yeah, I just wanted to tell you all that because what the hell? Everyone's sad in the house because the goddamn the rodent died. Crazy. Anyway, I'll see you on the next segment. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we are here. It's the next day, and I wanted to let y'all know Eugene did make it back from surgery, and I wanted to go over his bus with y'all really quick. So he is sleeping right now, but um, he has a few buffs from his surgery. So it says that he is feeling relieved. So when he wakes up, he's going to have the relieved buff kind of overpowering everything. But it does say second chance surgery. Eugene's post-surgical pain is worth it for the peace of mind and life-sustaining miracle of modern medicine that saved their life. They're feeling great from high needs. And then they also have an uncomfortable buff from being on the road to recovery. Eugene's in recovery after that procedure. He doesn't feel great, but it's definitely on the mend. So he's going to be in recovery for another two days here at home. So he's here in bed. He's sleeping. Oh, poor stink. We got all his vitamins, all his medicine, his little care package. And of course, Deidre's here. She's just watching over him. You know what I mean? But I just want to give you all an update on these two because we're not going to see them for the rest of the episode. We are waiting for everyone to get back from work. So, everyone is uncomfortable right now. I don't know what's going on. We're going to get them together. But yeah, these two are here. The unemployed are just chilling. <laughs> the unemployed people of the house are just relaxing. I wanted them to to smoke together really quick. Uh, oh, we don't even have anything to roll. Okay, well, I'll just have them smoke their own individual things, I guess. All right, so everyone pretty much made it home. And these two are blitzed. Elliot's high as hell. Let me see Madison. Her eyes. Yeah, she's out of there too. <laughs> she is out of there. Oh, and then Dayton, he's getting ready to go to football. Okay, bye. I'm going to cheat his everything to make sure that he's nice and ready for football practice. Because I want him to get promoted. He's going to make captain, period, before senior year because he's going to be the big dog on campus, okay? All right, but y'all, I really just wanted to catch you up mainly on Eugene and let you guys know, you know, that we were about to go to the next segment, which is going to be our party. We're going to spend more time there, and it's going to be a longer segment. So, yeah, I'll see you there. Okay, bye. Every day of my life, I see you in my Right, you guys so we made it to the old salt house and this is a beautiful bar built by ashwar as she plays and yes we're here kind of just to have like our little summer kickoff like party for the law firm um but we do have a perspective here that we want to kind of hone in on and camille is trying to do her best with impressing that prospect so let's get into it really quickly okay so everyone is here literally everyone <laughs> literally everyone is here okay so we have uh let's start over here we have miss tate tate oh, <laughs> we got tate tate in the house okay we have Knox, and tatum seems very upset about something don't know what i'm not controlling her because i just don't have the time okay we're just not dealing with it right now okay so yeah the dimpsies are in the house of course maddie and addie are here and then Kaysen and Adeline, they're too cute together. Liam is over here. Miss Fink is here. So Kaysen's mom is here. I don't know why she's upset. Like, it just seems like everybody's in a bad mood right now. 
<laughs> and then here's Darius is dumbass, just looking dumb. And then Camille is talking with Mr. Wendell. I've introduced him in only the machinima so far, but this is Wendell. This is Tatum's dad, uh, the Dempsey's dad. And yeah, he kind of he owns the Dempsey Properties real estate company and he makes big moves. They live out in Brittleton Bay though. So like I said, they left the kids out to take care of the home front here in Windenburg. But yeah, Darius thought that he was going to hone in on this client because he knew that they were coming back into town. Look at his dumb ass. Let me just look, try to cut me off. Look at him. Let me pause it real quick while I talk to y'all. That's not something that I showed per se, but those were his motives with that. So he knew exactly when the Dempsey's were coming back into town because he was all up on, you know, all up under Tatum. She was telling him things and she was trusting him with those things. And he took advantage of that and he took advantage of her. But it backfired on his dumb ass, okay? More ways than one. So anyway, Camille, she saw the go off in her head and she's like you know what me and the Dempsey's we have a good relationship regardless of what's going on on the other side Camille's gonna hone in on this client and she's gonna be their legal representation real estate representation is that that's big money okay and Camille she doesn't play about her bad like I said in the beginning of this episode y'all for the Westbrooks wealth over everything okay everything else will follow but as long as we got that bag right it'll be fine and this is tana dempsey um y'all can tell that's tatum's mom for sure she looks like a fucking bitch <laughs> she looks like a raging bitch but yeah she's kind of mean spirited and she also just feels the same way she's just about that money okay and real estate is a very lucrative company so camille sees the dollar signs so she's trying to right darius's wrongs tonight because that is very embarrassing <laughs> For that to happen. Wait. Wait. Did y'all see that? I'm scared. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to try to avoid Miss Tate Tate because we're playing the long game. All right, but I do want her to talk to Mr. Dempsey. And let's just talk about... I don't know, let's see. Let's talk about logic puzzles. Like, uh, let him know, like, hey, I'm smart. And Darius, I'm not even gonna be bothered with him, honestly. Let's talk about Maddie real quick, you guys. So, like I just showed y'all right now, right before we got here. Tatum is taking advantage of the fact that Madison and her mom are not very close. They've never been very close, and Tatum knows that. Why does Tatum know that? Of course, because she's been around them for fucking ever. She knows what Madison will and will not bring up to her mom and what things she decides to entertain and what things she doesn't decide to entertain when it comes to anyone. But Tatum is very calculated with some of the things that she does. So her trying to tell Madison about her mom acting crazy, Madison's like, you're fucking crazy. Like... She doesn't really care. <laughs> she doesn't really care. Madison is self-absorbed. She's high maintenance. She kind of doesn't care about other people to a full extent. Does that make her a bad person? Absolutely. But that's just who she is as a person. So right now, she's not really too interested in what's going on on that front. Granted, she doesn't know the details of everything. There is a lot to unpack when it comes to Madison. So yeah, she's aware of something being up with Tatum and her parents and whatever she just doesn't really care <laughs> she just doesn't care so that's kind of what I wanted to give y'all just kind of a little bit like a recap of that um but y'all just hang tight okay so speaking of Madison she is hungry I'm gonna let them talk and I'm gonna have her grab some ceviche we'll have everyone grab some But yeah, y'all, I got headlines on because I'm trying to see the tea, okay? I want to see all the things. And then we have Kaysen also, which I didn't forget about, y'all. Kaysen is aware now of what's going on between... 
Adeline's dad and Adeline's best friend. So him sitting next to Tatum is crazy. <laughs> Cause what? Okay, yeah, thanks. Bye, girl. Bye, girl. Just leave, cause nobody wants to be around you anyway. She's so stank with it. Like, whatever, girl. But yeah, no. Kason does know. He just is a little bit. He's so hesitant on making it known to Adeline. He's scared. Genuinely, like he's genuinely scared. Look at how she looks at him. She loves him so much. And he loves her too. So he just, he is just navigating, okay? I feel like everyone right now, we're at such a weird spot, right? Where it's like, things are starting to unravel, but everyone is still tiptoeing around the fact of what is going on. Which I feel like can be so realistic in certain situations with certain types of people. I feel like there's a lot at stake for everybody so everyone just wants to tiptoe around what's inevitably happening do you know what i mean i don't know it just feels like a sick joke that we're all sitting here watching this unravel. <laughs> we're all sitting here watching this unravel and y'all are letting me torture these sims the way that i am but yeah right now it's like kason doesn't he's not gonna tell adeline he doesn't know how he doesn't know how that's why he didn't when he first found out and she still doesn't know. She has she has no idea what's going on. We're going to see what else is kind of going on here. But I really just want Camille to focus on building a closer relationship with the Dempseys in terms of a business relationship. Because they've always known each other. Because they've been neighbors like for a really long time. But she wants to let them, let it be known that they can trust her, they can trust the Westbrooks, not Darius, but the Westbrooks, to represent them, you know? Period. You better drink that wine, girl, because she is stressed. My girl is stressed. Her, uh, her buffs right now are good, though. She does have a tense buff from resenting a cheater. She feels furious with someone nearby. That's just the vibe. Darius is over here. He's feeling dazed. He has a buff that says he's angry. Blame for the pain from feeling hurt by someone nearby. Darius wants to blame someone for the agony they put him through. Or maybe blame himself for giving them that power. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. All right, let's see. What can the girls do? So Adeline's over here. I'm going to have Adeline. Who does Adeline want to talk to? I'm going to have her come sit over here with Kaysen. And they're just going to talk to Knox and Kareem. I don't know why it's having us do an introduction. Is there a way to fix that, you guys? Because, like, these Sims know each other. We've, we've, we go way back already. <laughs> I don't know why I have to introduce people all over again. So everyone's eating. I'm going to talk to Miss Tana or have Camille talk to Miss Tana. Um, so we're just going to talk about. Okay, so with Tana, we're just going to talk about like, you know, girly stuff. Let's talk about self-care tips. Just try to get to know her on a more personal level because she seems a little rough around the edges. So and then let's compliment her outfit. These two right here, this man right here and this lady, um, these are also people that work with the Dempseys and they're literally just side characters. Celestine and Ryan, and they're married as well. But yeah, these two queens were the ones laughing at Darius last episode when his car declined, which was super funny because <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, you're embarrassing yourself in front of the bad bitches, bro. Darius trying to fit in with everyone still is so funny because like you look like a fucking idiot like I can't believe Camille has to deal with this like girl <laughs> But she's down to keep an appearance like she'll keep an appearance up. Oh <laughs> She don't really fuck with her like that <laughs> Anyway, but she's down to keep an appearance up as long as it makes her look good What are these two talking about? Okay, period. 
Let's talk to Kaysen a little bit. Let's... I don't know. Let's gossip. <laughs> Let's spill the tea. Ooh. They're talking shit about her, buddy. <laughs> Kaysen's like, oh, yeah, and your friend. Oh, yeah, never mind. Wait, hold on. He's like, damn, I can't. He's going to tell her, y'all. He just doesn't know when. He doesn't want to keep it from her. But that's just something that he's struggling with right now, you know? Okay. So, enough of this. Let's go up here. I want to go upstairs to this area. Let's see who's up here. Liam. Oh, Andy. Where's Manami? I thought that Manami was here. Camille's assistant. She should be here. I don't think... Oh, she's not even here. Oh, well, that's okay. No, we're going to invite her. We want her here because, like, that's our girl. Be like, girl, if you don't come through, it's ladies' night. The drinks are cheap, bitch. <laughs> Yamanami made it here. That's my bitch. Like, she rides for Camille, period. I'm going to have them come up here. And I want them to come, like, sit outside. And gossip or something. Yeah, I'm gonna have them go upstairs and go gossip about everybody. <laughs> um, I guess I'll have Darius try to like be a little bit more useful right now. Um, let's just talk about let's do a humble brag. Because Darius is annoying like that. Like his car will decline and then he'll still try to act like he's flexing on somebody. <laughs> okay, period. The couples here, they're so freaking adorable together and they're matching and stuff. I love it. Okay, we're gonna gossip because we wanna be messy, period. Let's gossip about coworkers. <laughs> and I don't know where Andy's at. We need to talk with him, but this little outing I feel like is going nice. I feel like they're able to kind of rectify that relationship. Shut up. Okay, I think I want to have them take some pictures. Let's take a photo with Kaysen. Cute. They're too cute together, man. I think I'm going to have Adeline get a drink. And I'll probably have her order. Oh, where's the bartender? Hello? Do we not have a bartender? He's about to take a nap. Oh my god. Let's talk to Tatum, I guess. She's walking around like her fucking, I don't know, she got a problem. She always got a goddamn problem. Let's just ask her about books. You know Adeline, she just be so sweet. <laughs> She's so sweet and innocent. She's like, so Tatum, I haven't talked to you in a while. You been reading the new books? Uh, Period. Fuck her though. <laughs> but that was cute. I'm gonna let her have that. That was cute. Yeah, so Tatum's tense about something. Oh, I wonder what it is. I'm not I'm not looking at her buffs though. Like I don't even wanna I don't even wanna get into that mess right now, okay? Everyone is behaving tonight, which I'm very happy about. These two are over here having a ball. They kikiing about everybody. Okay, Camille, I need you to just do a little bit more business lady things. So come talk to Miss Tana some more. Just be like, hey, do you know your daughter's a fucking slut? <laughs> um, I don't even know. I need more interaction mods, y'all. Can y'all give me some um ideas, please? Because let's just share a night on the town spirit. We're going to see their relationship. Yeah, so it's not like super. Oh, and they have bad compatibility and they're only acquaintances. Ooh. <laughs> just like, just like her daughter. Just like her daughter, honey. The view is so pretty right here. Windenburg is so gorgeous. Okay, period. I think, I think this is going well, y'all. I think it's going well. Let's ask her about her hobbies. Be like, what you be doing when you're not raising up whores? <laughs> uh, 
Oh my god, I can't wait for Camille to get hers, bro. <laughs> like, I cannot wait for her to get hers. Okay, she likes painting and video gaming. Okay, cool, cute. See her slut daughter's up too. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have everyone dance, I guess, just to kind of like kind of round off the night. This was good. It wasn't like I wasn't really wanting drama. Not here. You know what I'm saying? They still got to keep up their appearance. And they did good, even though Camille wants to rip Darius's head off. He's so stupid and useless, too. Like, he didn't do shit. Let me have him try to talk to Wendell again. I'm going to have him tell an unbelievable story. Like, we're just going to keep that vibe going. Like, you're not that guy. Like, you're not that guy that you think that you are. You're an embarrassment to the goddamn family name. This law is so pretty. He's like, so I was at the restaurant, right? In the car to Clyde. <laughs> He's like, that's so unbelievable, right? That didn't happen to me. What a loser, bro. <laughs> oh, cute. They're all just talking and dancing. Love it. Go, Annie. Go, Annie. It's shimmery thing. Oh, wait. So, okay, Wendell said, you make my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. Okay, so I guess it is working. Darius isn't as fucking useless. As I thought he was. What is Madison going on about? She's telling an outrageous story. Damn, she just like her daddy. <laughs> she just like her daddy telling them lies. Not them giving each other the look like they've been gossiping because they have. That's crazy. Oh, okay. So Camille's feeling very flirty, but let me check on her little things. It looks like she has new sentiment. Her and Tana, um,. Didn't really hit it off. She hit it off a little bit more with Wendell. <gasps> she finds him extremely attractive. Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. Okay, well, Darius's relationships with these people are not good. <gasps> he finds the wife extremely attractive. That is so messy. He finds the mom and the daughter extremely. That is so messy. That is so messy. That is so <laughs> messy, man. Oh, my Lord. Alrighty, y'all. So we're going to wrap up the episode here at this party because we're going into our outro, which is going to continue this kind of segment. You'll, you'll see. Okay. Y'all will see. <laughs> but thank you guys for hanging out with me today. The comment down below. Let me know what your favorite part is and what you think is going to happen because we only have a few episodes of the Westbrook season one left. Okay. It's about to get real crazy. <laughs> but yes, thank you guys again for watching as always. If you want to stay connected with me when I'm out on YouTube, all of my socials are linked down below, which I'm pretty active on. So if you just want to chat with me, if you have any questions about anything, just hit me up there. But yeah, Pookies, I love you guys and I'll see you on my next video. Bye. And you're in your city room And it was raining all